both sides. And the council has been silent on this. And not only that, Council MacGyver, you had residents of Newark ask, pushing for a ceasefire resolution prior to this. And now you have this swelling of people here. You have, you know, clearly you have folks in the audience that are here for this. And I, I don't, you know, in the next meeting, hopefully you can pass this resolution. But this is the time. This is the time. We are seeing what's happening across the world. We are seeing what's happening in these communities. What more proof do you need? That's right. The ICJ already ruled that genocide is being committed. This isn't a time where people can be quiet anymore. And the genocide! And the genocide! And the genocide! Communities uh, to defend our civil rights and shame and justice. Uh, today, we're with a very diverse uh, coalition uh, comprised of Newark residents uh, and neighbors and friends. That's right. All for a ceasefire. Ceasefire now! Yes. Ceasefire now! So, uh, across the country, most notably, we have San Francisco and Chicago who have called for a ceasefire. In New Jersey, uh, to my knowledge, Patterson, Hale Prospect Park, and just last night, Union City called for a ceasefire. Woo! We are optimistic that Newark can do this. Uh, and just to say that, you know, many other folks who sit up here on the council come from a place of activism. And so, you know, to uh, you know, put forth this kind of narrative uh, that no one cares or no one understands what is happening, um, you know, sometimes is, is quite unfair. And, and now I'll allow people to, you know, assume and take that uh, for granted. And so, you know, however, uh, the, the, the council, you know, moves, we definitely support uh, peace on, on a holistic level. So, uh, to call for us inspire and for peace, uh, not just for um, Gaza and Israel. There is so much going on all over the world, but the escalation of the lives, I should say, is the mere state in October 16th. A violence and humanitarian treatment that is going on is just horrific. So we have individuals that on all sides we're connected to, but we sure do not stand for the inhuman treatment. And the mayor stated in his book on October 16 that we urge all those who are peace and justice to oppose attacks on innocent civilians. When they say we don't care, as councilman, council stated, we really care. There's some things that we can't just get on playing and do. As a matter of fact, when we were trying to select various things the faith-based community to send to assist and aid, it was blocked. So even though we want to do some things, but what we can do on this side is let you know that we stand with those who oppose those to that type of treatment. I will be sponsoring a resolution, but I am sponsoring a resolution will be at the next a council meeting and a council president. I'm just as hurt as those individuals are sitting out here that made the statement that we don't care that we said anything. We've never stopped saying something. You might not have been in the room. And everything is not made for Channel 7, Channel 2, and Channel 4. Some things we have to say to our people who are in our office. The emails that we get, we have to address them. Let you know we received it. Let you know we saw it. So that, that's the first thing, uh, council, president. Uh, but some things have to be public and loud. Excuse me, do not call out, please. So as we move forward, as I stated earlier, there will be a resolution in the next meeting. Everybody's.